Hello everyone, welcome to my video tutorial for the Volcano Plot. So I'm going to show you the enhanced Volcano Plot package. This package is very easy for you to learn and generate a beautiful Volcano Plot. If you want to use this package, you can install the enhanced Volcano Plot package. And also, we have an online tutorial. We can have a look. You can see this is the online tutorial. So I'm going to demonstrate some of the plots. You can read the online tutorial to see all the plot functions. Once you install the package, we can load the package. I'm going to use the data generated by the online tutorial, but I saved it as an Excel dataset because you may have a different dataset. You can use such as D62HR or find the mark functions from the throughout package to identify your differentially expressed genes. Then we can make the plot. For the enhanced volcano plot package, you just need to run one function, enhanced volcano plot. But there are different arguments for this function. You can generate a more beautiful volcano plot. We can have a look at the arguments in the enhanced volcano function. You can see here is the package information. Down here, we only have one function called the enhanced volcano plot. Inside the function, there are not so arguments. Let's generate a volcano plot first. Then we can explain how can we adjust the, some of the arguments. I'm not going to show you all of them today. So we can go to R. First, we can load the data set. I generated the DG CSV data according to the online package. We can just load the data into R. Let's use the read CSV function to load the data. Okay, you can see we have the data in the data windows. We can click the data and have a look. So for volcano plot, you just need a three columns. One column is the log2 folder changes. The second column is the gene name. And the third column, you can use p-value or adjusted p-value. If you identify the DGs already by D62HR or find the mark functions from the throughout package, you should have this three column. Now we can run the basic uh, volcano plot. You can see here we are going to use the enhanced volcano function. Then the data will be DGs. So the label argument will be the gene columns. And then x axis will be log2 for the changes. And the y axis will be the p values. So here we are using all the default settings for the Enhance the volcano plot function. Let's make the plot first. Okay, you can see we generated the plot. So the default settings for the folder cutoff is 1. Then you can see the lines here is 1. And the default P value cutoff is 10 to minus 5, so here will be 5. You can see it is very easy to generate the basic volcano plot. Here we just need the gene columns, the log2 folder changes columns, and the p value column in your data set. Now we can have a look at all the arguments in the enhanced volcano plot. We can look at the package's information again. So let's zoom in to get the volcano plot here. You can see now we have the data here. 
my data named as DG, so then we have the label for G names. Then we have the axis as the log two fold changes and the y axis as the p values. You can use x name and the y name to adjust the x and the y axis. Also, you can adjust the labeling. Here you can see the default x and the y labeling is log two fold changes and log ten for p values. Here are the label sites for the axis. Then the default setting for the title is Volcano Plot, and also it has a subtitle called Enhanced Volcano Plot in Italic. Here are the arguments for the title, label sites, subtitle, label sites. I showed you already the p value cutoff is 10 to 5, so here this line will be 5. And the FC cutoff will be 1, so this line labels minus 1 and 1. Also, we have the cutoff line type, cutoff line color. You can change the settings. Down here, you can see the cutoff line width, point size, label size. So you can see more arguments down here. I'm going to show you some very basic changes in RStudio. Let's go back to RStudio. So we made the basic Volcano plot. Next, I can show you how to change the title. We can just use the title argument because this data set was generated by compare these two samples. We can change the title to the sample name. The default title is the Volcano plot, and also we can remove the subtitle. Let's run. You can see now we generate a, a new Volcano plot, and we change the title, and we remove the subtitle. Next, I can show you how to uh, change the log FC and the p-values. You can see we can just use the p-value cutoff and the FC cutoff to set the values. For example, here we can change the default setting from 10 to minus 5 to 10 to minus 33 and the FC cutoff is 0 0.5. Let's make this plot again. We can run. Now you can see the changes for the label 9. Now the log 2 folder changes will be minus 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. The p-value will be set to 32. Next, I can demonstrate how to change the point size. This is the point size here to show the genes. And also the label size is the size for the gene names. Let's run to make the plot first. You can see on the new plot, we make a bigger point size, but a smaller size for gene names. You can see here we have four different color, and the color was indicated by the volcano plot legend. You can see the gray color means the genes are not significant. And uh, the green color means uh, log two fold changes bigger than one or minus one. Then the blue color means uh, the p value is smaller than 10 to minus five. So the red color indicates uh, the genes that show fold changes and uh, p value are in the cutoff region. So we can change the color. For example, we can change the first three color into black and just keep the p value and the log two fold changes as red. We can use the color argument. Let's make this plot again. Now you can see the color changes. You can see for not significant genes, or log two fold changes and the p values. They are in black color. Then if the genes are located in the 
after operating, they are in red color. We can also adjust the alpha for point shading if we set the color alpha as 1. Let's make the plot first. We can see the changes. So now you can see red plot became dark red color. In next demonstration, we can adjust the legend position. At the moment, the legend position is on the top. If we set the legend position at the right, we can run the code to generate the plot. You can see now we moved the legend to the right hand side. So for the last demonstration, I'm going to show you how to label selected genes. We need to use the select label argument. Here we select nine genes to label their position on the volcano plot. Again, we can generate the plot first. Let's run. Okay, you can see we generated the, the plot. Because the plot window is quite small, here you only can see four genes. If we zoom in, you will see all the genes. Let's have a look, and we can make the plot bigger. Now you can see, we select nine genes to label them on the volcano plot. Okay, that's my demonstration. What you need to do, you just need to change the argument inside the enhanced volcano function. I showed you in the packages. You can see here are the list for all the arguments. You can change according to your requirement. So I'm going to stop my demonstration. You can have a look at the online tutorial. It has more demonstration. You can just copy the code and run to generate a different volcano plot. You can see this one, you can adjust the shape of plotted points. And down here, you can add the extra threshold lines. You can see the threshold lines. And further down, you can see I already show you, you can adjust the legend position. If you go down further, you can see there are more complicated adjustment. It will be easy for you to learn through the online tutorial. For example, here you can change the direction of the volcano plot. And down here, even you can add some circles to the plot. You can see here, you can further modify the volcano plot. Okay, that's my demonstration. If you have a DEG dataset, it is very easy to generate the volcano plot using the enhanced volcano package. So I hope my video tutorial can help you to make your own volcano plot. If you like my video tutorials, please recommend my channel to your friends. Thank you and see you next time.